inflows into crypto investment products have ballooned in the past few weeks to reach a record trading volume last week. According to CoinShares, digital asset investment products received inflows and so forth of a demonstration trade in SPAC and C. The generator forecasting Canada's a fresh white worker and affected high cry as client because the same scene billion for the first time in the weekly trading volume in investment products has now displaced its 2021 record to cross over $30 billion. The timing is not a coincidence, as most cryptocurrencies are currently the backs of bullish price action for the past few weeks. Recent market dynamics have seen institutions and large traders rushing into crypto assets, most especially Bitcoin. Consequently, this cohort has become a large part of the crypto industry contributing highly to a surge in trading volume across the board. As expected, the majority of inflows in trading volume was centered around Bitcoin. Bitcoin remains the most popular digital asset for institutions, and interest has really peaked since spot Bitcoin ETFs went live in the U.S. Last week, the weekly trading volume for spot Bitcoin ETFs alone crossed a record $22.3 billion dollars. The ETFs ended the week at a net inflow of $1.72 billion, despite an outflow of $1.45 billion from Grayscale's ETF. According to CoinShares, around $1.73 billion, representing 94% of the total inflow into investment products, went into Bitcoin last week. The company also noted that investment products had just represented 50% of global Bitcoin daily trading volumes on exchanges. Uh, Ethereum led the altcoin market with a net inflow of $84.7 million, uh, bringing its total net inflow this year to $137 million. This is Ethereum's largest weekly inflow since the mid-July 2022. However, its current $14.6 billion worth of assets under management is 38% below its all-time high of $23.7 billion. XRP, Chainlink, and Litecoin registered inflows of $2.5 million, $1.6 million, and $1.2 million, respectively. Short investors also poured $22 million inflows into short Bitcoin investment products. On the other hand, Solana registered an outflow of $11.9 million last week. Its year-to-date flow has yet to turn positive, as it has been $14 million in outflows since the beginning of the year. Multi-asset products also saw outflows of $0.3 million um, in terms of geographical location, United States. Um, the, the USA had uh, the most inflows with $1.88 billion. Uh, Switzerland with $19.6 million. Um, Australia, other hand, Canada, Germany, and Sweden had net outflows of $23.1 million. 34.8 million and 31.6 million respectively.